Oh, we've got two more acts left, so keep that energy up. Clap, whoop, cheer, welcome to the stage, Chris Law, everybody! How's it going? All right? Well, apparently the chair's not. Um, anyone here got a smartwatch? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, did you buy yours because you went on that, like, COVID fitness kick? Yeah, see, I did the same. I thought I could potentially do exercise or I can just download the apps, get the smartwatch, and probably feel a bit better about myself. <laughs> now the only way I feel better is I really like deleting the notification emails. <laughs> and to be honest, I don't know if I've got some weird shame kink and I'm just like putting it in the junk, or I've just become so fat and lazy that now the word spam excites me. <laughs> To be honest, though, I think mine's broke because for the last like couple of months, I've been getting a lot of messages basically saying I've been doing me 10,000 steps before 12 o'clock, and that is pretty much impossible for what I do. Like I'm not hitting 10,000 steps by 12 when I'm eating about eight or nine packs of crisps by nine. <laughs> like I've got to this point where I've really worked out how to balance a share bag of crisps on a pram <laughs> while you're doing a school run. You can get most of the way there, and you've got to probably watch out for the kids, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> once, once they're in the school, they're not my problem. Uh, but, yeah, what's that? <laughs> lost, that train, <laughs> lost that train of thought, basically. I need to live up to what my watch thinks I am. <laughs> like, I don't know if I have to stop, stop with the terrible habits or just kind of Maybe just switch hands while I'm eating stuff. <laughs> because I'm getting kind of bored of the really sarcastic vibration in the email going, congratulations, you've done your marathon training for the day, you fat prick. <laughs> the problem from it is I've started worrying, like I've got this really, re really specific new fear. Like the way everything's going at the moment, World War Three is looking more and more inevitable. Really struggled with inevitable, didn't I? Um, <laughs> I am scared of the World War Three. I mean, <laughs> I've got this really specific thing where I think with all the data that Russia's stealing, they're going to concentrate on the really healthy people. Like, that guy's a threat. Get rid of him first. <laughs> and my Fitbit keeps telling people that I train like a green beret. <laughs> like, they're going to, like, hitmen are going to turn up to my house expecting Jason Statham. Open the door and it's me who's struggling to stay thin. And they just gonna look at me and it's like, Joel, I'll be with you in a sec, I just need to put my shoes on. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, I've got this, I've got, yeah, I've got this. <sighs> like genuinely, if I was gonna do anything to save the world, I'd be the only person who stops World War III in Velcro shoes. <laughs> like, <laughs> if there's timers on nuclear bombs, I am fucked. I haven't done a bleep test since I was about 12. And anything above two flights of stairs scares the shit out of me. Like, does anyone know if nuclear silos have like a lift <laughs> or, or a slide? Because that's the only, like, I'm using sheer gravity to get to the bottom and fix something. To be honest though, I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Like, they're gonna pick something more comprehensive to steal the data from. They're not gonna pick something that struggles to tell the difference between a three mile hike and a get your head down wank. It's not going to be a problem. <laughs> like, can you imagine the Russians looking at that and going, do you know what, we might, have, we might have fucked up here. Either there's a peddler who's basically the Terminator who lives in Liverpool for some fucking reason. Or we've really, really misjudged Western technology and capabilities because the Wi-Fi there is fucking insane. <laughs> like if he's doing that much wanking in a day, Maybe they've just got the stamina that we aren't ready for. <laughs> anyway, thanks one for having me. <laughs> Chris Lowe, everyone!